Like the video and subscribe right now. Or Anguton says. It's your turn. R slash ask reddit. What are signs that someone is secretly unhappy? Tired. If they aren't sleeping well oftentimes something is keeping them up. Also tiredness is a commonly used excuse to answer. Are you okay? Yeah. I started saying tired because people stop prying then. It's socially acceptable. It's not as acceptable to say you feel like life is completely pointless. 1. Not finding pleasure in activities they used to enjoy. 2. Persistent low mood. 3. Problem sleeping. They smile at you because they want to be nice or friendly. But as soon as you look away, the smile falls off their face. Because they kind of put it there, rather than it rising up naturally. Once its job is done, they let it go. Edit. Since this blew up, I'm going to take opportunity to say, therapy. Therapy can make a big difference. Even for the most seemingly intractable problems. If your life is unhappy, if you relate to the posts in this thread, I advise you to seek a therapist's help. Not answering emails and texts is a warning sign for me. I start procrastinating about personal correspondence when I'm on my way into a bad depressive episode. And, well, sometimes even when I'm just at baseline. But baseline with clinical depression is pretty unhappy. They don't put any effort into life. Sometimes I get bursts of motivation to just get up and start improving my life. Like right now. Finish college. Hit the gym. But then I think of all the effort I'd actually have to put in to do this. And think, is it really worth it? Or I don't actually enjoy working out or going to class. Will this really bring me more happiness? And just kind of go back to sleep or switching between Reddit and YouTube. Even if this person looks very happy you can easily put them down. Make them sad or cry. They become very upset when someone is even a little bit rude to them. They can be very loud and happy at one moment and quiet at another. It's my own experience. I don't know how it works with another people. I think this is the best way for me to recognize my depression. I'm so much more sensitive to the smallest mistakes. I can sob because my shower isn't warming up. It just feels like the worst thing is everything. Edit. For future readers who can see this edit. A sudden inability to stay asleep most nights can also be a sign. It's something I experience as well. General apathetic approach to life mostly can be perfectly described as feeling me me a yeah i don't really mind it's okay i'm fine it is what it is sure i'm just tired whatever i don't really care whatever you like it's okay i'm used to it as someone who is currently very unhappy they want to have alone time way more than they usually do withdrawal from social life Overthinking or anxiety over small decisions. Procrastination. Not wanting to put effort into relationships. They have nothing to talk about or don't give any opinions. It's a sign that nothing excites or interests them. Ouch. Yeah. Even what do you want to eat is usually met with I don't care when I normally love food. When they ask you what you're doing all the time and are a little pushy because they just want to talk to someone but never say it straightforward that they aren't happy and that they need some company. Wow this is definitely me. I just want someone to freaking ask me if I've been alright and if I need to talk. Seems like either no one gives a crap or everyone is having such a piss time that they don't even know what to do with themselves. I think a lot of the time people who are secretly unhappy do their best to make the people they care about laugh and feel happy, as they know what it's like to feel so down and unhappy with the world they don't wish for the people they care about to feel that way. They stop engaging in hobbies and activities they used to love. Gaming for me. I've just bought Fallout 4 and Skyrim SE just to sit in the Steam library. Hiding in their clothes. Hooders and jackets. Hats pulled down. Not participating in conversation much. Not having interests. They've given up on all their hobbies. Or only having one or two interests. They have given up on almost everything but still need something to hide in. It took me a very long time to realize that anger is one of my first responses to depression. 
I feel like we imagine those grey blobs from the commercials that are listless and distracted and sad but for me. Unchecked depression expresses as anger. I can't believe the stupidity around me. I give no one the benefit of the doubt. I assume everything is a slight and preemptively expects lights. As you can imagine. It's subtly exhausting and terrible to be around. Then I lost enough friends. Realized I needed to change. Got therapy out of my own choice for the first time. Forced into it as a kid many times. Changed my responses to things. Got on medication. And now it takes a lot to get me angry. A lot. Regression. Isolation. Short fuse around loved ones. Always tired or not feeling well when asked to do something. Boredom from things that used to entertain. There are lots of signs. Edit. Wow this really blew up. Thanks for my first award kind stranger. I see this resonates with a lot of other people. It took a long time for me to realize that many people, even friends or family, can be having the same thoughts and emotions. I remember the first time someone basically explained myself while talking about their own issues. I was maybe 26 at the time and my co-worker was in his late 50s. He needed someone to talk to and it blew my mind. I've been depressed for a while now and have been reluctant to talk to a psychologist. So I'm not the best guy to dish out advice. It might be time to seek help if you're doing the things listed above or developing habits you think are unhealthy like not wanting to get out of bed on a day off smoking lots of weed avoiding basic responsibilities. Missing work and then feeling like a crap longing for the past constant disassociation. Daydreaming. You don't even need to talk to a psychologist or a therapist to get over some of these things if they are just starting to feel them. Confiding in a close friend or a family member could steer you straight. If you've been feeling like this for a while though, you're like me and it's time to get real help. This post alone is forcing me to rethink going to therapy. Might make a call tomorrow. They're always cracking jokes. Those people usually have a lot pent up disappointment that they can't find happiness, so they try to spread happiness to anyone else. Edit. Thank you very much for my first silver. And to the people who relate to this comment. I hope you feel better soon and there is no shame in discussing your problems with someone you trust or with a certified professional. But when you do get things sorted out, by all means keep in telling jokes. You guys are the unsung heroes of the world. You'd be surprised by how much a good joke and genuine laugh can change someone's day for the better. And frankly it's truly remarkable that despite how your personal life is, you still make it a mission to make other people live better. Because in this day and age, chances are they're dealing with something similar to you. Something to think about next time someone you make someone laugh and they say, Thanks, I needed that one. When they try their best to make everyone else happy, it's sort of a catharsis to them because they get momentary joy by making someone laugh or smile or have a nice day, but they don't ever do anything to make themselves happy. They are tired all the time. Say they're fine or okay with no elaboration when you ask. Sigh a lot. Space out a lot. Seem distracted. Don't seem to enjoy anything. Edit. I woke up to roughly 100 replies in my inbox. So I can't respond to everyone individually. A few things to say though. I'm not saying everyone who does this has clinical depression. If you feel that you might have a problem, talk to a professional. I wrote this list based off of how I act at work. I have severe depression, ADHD, and complex PTSD. I know that all of this can spring from any odd those, something else, or it can be nothing except normal boredom or detachment. I hope you all feel better. Sucks that so many people are so down on themselves. Dead eyes. When I ran into a friend, after leaving my gaslighting ex I told her that we had broken up and why. Her response was, I knew you were being abused. Your eyes were dead, but now they are full of life. I just want to say this entire thread feels like a personal attack and summary of the last two years of my life and I have to say, I did not think I was that unhappy in life. Constantly feeling tired, not talking a lot, looks like they are trying to concentrate on themselves or on something and everything else seems to be annoying. Short fuse towards loved ones, no attention to themselves how they look, how they are dressed what they are eating. Eyes. Like they are shut down. 
gives extreme attention to small details that don't matter, and on the contrary ignores larger matters. Yes, the sense of lack of control gives you the only chance of control in micromanaging. Of course it never works, and is much worse if you don't address the big issue but, well, if it was something good it wouldn't be a consequence of something bad. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this.